At Obermatt, safety doesn't mean safe to invest. When we publish the Obermatt safety rank for a stock, we look at the financial side of a company and we evaluate how safely that company is financed. A company is financed with equity and debt. And if a company has a lot of debt, it means they are less safely financed than a company that has very little debt. We call this aggressive financing. If a company is very conservative with their debt, it's a lot safer for you as an investor. And today I'm going to show you how this affects your stock investments. How do we calculate the safety rank at Obermott? We look at the financing side of a company and we have to ask ourselves how are companies financed? First and foremost, companies are financed by equity. When you buy stocks of a company, that money goes into the equity of a company. On top of that, companies decide to borrow money. They go to banks or to the public markets and they get debt. This is how companies finance their business. So equity and debt corresponds to the assets that the company actually has that it can use to produce products and services. What is now the problem with that? If there is an issue with the economy or with the company and the assets decrease in a recession or when they have difficult products or issues in the markets, that means that debt stays the same and squeezes the equity. So debt in situation of difficulties are dangerous for investors. But on the other side, it's also an opportunity. When the business goes very well, you know, and the assets increase of the company, debt stays the same again. And who profits? The shareholders. So in difficult times, debt is dangerous. And in good time, times, debt is actually an opportunity. The first thing we look at when we calculate Obermott safety rank is the relationship of debt to equity. The more debt you have, the higher is your relationship to equity. We call that the leverage and the lower the safety rank. When we calculate the Obermott safety ranks, companies with very little debt compared to equity get the highest leverage rank. So let's put that relationship here, the leverage rank. Now, companies always have to pay back their debt at one point in time. And when they have debt to pay back, then this, is, this appears on the balance sheet as short-term debt. We can see it if debt is due. Now, we do the same thing. We relate the short-term debt to the size of the company because that gives us an indication how easy it is for a company to refinance itself. And this then is called the refinancing rank. Finally, every company has to pay interest on their debt, which goes out here. And you can only pay interest when you have a profit. So the relationship of the interest payments to the profitability of a company is also an important indicator of how safely the company is financed. This we call the liquidity rank. So we have the refinancing rank, the leverage rank, and the liquidity rank. And all these three go into the overall Obermatt safety rank. If you have a high safety rank, it means the company is quite safely financed. And of course, vice versa. What are now the danger zones with the safety rank? First, there is not really a lot of danger in the safety rank because the accounting principles are done in a way that all these issues are reflected as accurately as possible. Accounting standards should make sure the company has all risks in the balance sheet. So safety ranks are actually quite reliable. However, there's one issue that sometimes comes across. We compare safety of one company with 
safety of another company. And sometimes the companies have different business models. And if there is a company that doesn't sell their products, but rather leases them to their customers, it means that their debt increases a lot because they have a financing business in their company, like a bank. But at the same time, that also means they have a lot more assets because customers lease that, lease the product from the company and they owe that money back to the company. So it's actually not as dangerous as it looks. At Obermatt, we try to match companies that are similar to each other. But leasing business is sometimes a little bit difficult to detect. So there could be a lot more debt on the balance sheet that there actually is. However, this is not a problem, but it's the reason why sometimes I buy a company with a low safety rank. Because I see that maybe the low safety rank is just due to a leasing business. For me, the safety rank is the second most important aspect to look at. First, I start with the value rank because I don't want to pay too much for a company. But then I quickly look at the safety rank to make sure it's not too risky, especially when I expect a downturn. Then I look at growth ranks, which give me an information about the dynamics of the company. And then I look at the company itself to, uh, to assess their future and relate that back to the value ranks. So you see, the safety rank is actually quite important when I make investment decisions in companies.